But tell me, just from your own journey, right? So when you moved on and you first started investing in, you said you invested some money in a small company and then you went and bought up a larger company. So tell us about how does that work? You know, how does a smaller company take over a larger company when I, I guess uh, there's obviously injection of capital or, or how does it work? What is it that... So, yeah, no, so obviously all of it was not my capital that went to help to, you know, you, you know, I went to investors, in this case, I went to a private equity, one of the large private equities uh, out of India called Chris Capital. And, uh, and what I was doing actually was I was buying the small business and frankly bringing it to Singapore and using you know, my own money, friends and family and mess finance at that time to, to buy it out and run it out of Singapore. Uh, and especially focused, still focused on the US, but then this, you know, this large a private equity uh, who used to work with me for the last, you know, f- for five years prior to that, uh, and they had seen me grow, uh, you know, came and said, hey, you know, why don't we, you know, marry your idea and what you want to do with the capital that we have? Why don't we bring both of these together and let's identify another larger company out of the valley and, and reverse merge into them. That is, and so then I identified a, a company which was Infogain and then so 2016, we I went and joined Info again in January. The valuation was 90 million, and five years later, it was a 10x of that uh, valuation. So yes, 